Good day, Tree Mugs here. So I wanted to take a quick look at the two basic types of climbing systems that we use in modern tree work. So the first is known as a moving rope system or better known as doubled rope, DDRT. And then the second type of climbing system is called stationary rope system or better known as SRT. So let's take a look at the basic concepts. None of this is going to be comprehensive by any means. I just want something that a beginner can, uh, can check out and just kind of wrap their head around the concepts that we're talking about here. So let's start with doubled rope or moving rope system. So in a moving rope system, what we're going to do is using a variety of means, we're going to install a climbing line through a crotch in a tree. We're going to refer to this as our tie-in point. So now what we have is, and this is where the name comes from, the rope is doubled over. It's doubled over through that crotch. So the one end, the, the terminal end, whether it's a splice or it's a knot, we take the terminal end and we put a carabiner through it. So now we have a terminal end and we have a working end. So on the working end, we take our climber. Our climber has a harness or a saddle, and then they have some form of attachment to the working end of the line. So in this case, and more traditionally, it would be a, a hitch cord like this. You can also use mechanical devices to get the same effect. So this, uh, this climbing set setup here, whether it's a hitch cord or, me or a mechanical device, it allows a climber to move up and down the rope. So in doubled rope, moving rope, what we do is we take the terminal end and we attach it directly back to the climber's saddle. Okay, so essentially what we've set up here now is a big adjustable loop which runs from the terminal end attached to the saddle, it runs up through the tie-in point and then it runs back down to the attachment here which is a hitch and then from there it runs all the way to the ground. So you have a large adjustable loop and the climber changes their position up and down and it changes the the length of the loop right so the entire length of rope all the way from the terminal end all the way back down to the ground when the climber is moving the entire length of rope is moving see how that works so that's doubled rope or moving rope systems so some of the advantages of the uh, moving rope system number one the uh, climber always has access to both ends of their climbing line. The one end is attached directly to them, and then the other end is waiting on the ground when they get done, which means that once they are done their climb and they descend to the ground, they can simply unclip the, uh, the terminal end, and they can pull that out of the tree and get their rope back out of the tree. It's very easy to do that. That's advantage number one. Secondly, uh, because of the way that the rope is doubled over, you have a mechanical advantage here where when you pull down on the, on the working end, you're only pulling about half your weight. The other half is on the other side. So it makes it easier, especially for beginners, to get started. So the way you would ascend in a doubled rope system is you're only, you're, you're only ever working on the, the working end here. You're, you're pulling the working end, you're pulling some slack into it, and then below your hitch here, you're pulling that slack out of it, like that. So to ascend, you're pulling slack above, and then you're pulling that slack below. So like we say, there's an, a mechanical advantage here. Of course, the trade-off for any mechanical advantage is the, uh, the distance that you have to pull. So you have to pull two to one, uh, twice as much distance on the working end here as what you actually ascend. So ascending on a doubled rope system is fairly slow in most setups. Um, the other disadvantage of the doubled rope system is the, the friction. You have to manage your friction in a doubled rope system because the entire length of rope is moving through the system. So let's say you wanted to drop down through a crotch like this. We would call this a redirect. Well, in, in doubled rope, you're going to have a lot of trouble trying to make that work because you're going to be battling the friction at this point. So that's one of the, uh, the disadvantages of doubled rope.
Okay, so now let's look at the concept of stationary rope. So now, instead of the entire rope moving, what we're going to do is we're going to take that terminal end and we're not going to attach it to the climber. We're going to attach it either at the base of a tree, like this, we would call this a basal anchor, or we're going to attach it up top, which is called a canopy anchor. So now, instead of a rope that's moving as we move, now the rope is stationary. You have one leg up and through your suspension point or your tie-in point, and now you have just a climber moving up and down along a stationary leg of rope. So that's the, the, uh, the difference between the stationary versus the moving rope. So the advantages of the stationary uh, rope setup, um, now you have to pull your entire weight as you ascend. However, you ascend at a one-to-one -one ratio. So for each, each foot that you pull of rope, pull through your hitch, you ascend by a foot. So you're, you're ascending much faster than in, in a doubled rope system. The other main advantage is that the friction is going at your the, the friction that you experience at your hitch or your mechanical uh, device as you're climbing is going to be consistent because it's just you moving up and down a stationary leg of rope which means for instance let's say you wanted to drop down through that same redirect at this point you can easily do that because your friction is consistent so some of the disadvantages of this um, of the stationary rope system you have to put more thought into your setup so that when you're done your climb you can retrieve your line and get it out of the tree so this is a basal anchor so when I get down I have access to the end of my rope here this is usually pretty easy to get out uh, the other type of a stationary setup would be called a canopy anchor so in this case um, Generally what we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot up top, usually an alpine butterfly. I'm just going to show it here with a, with a slip knot. And then we're going to put uh, a piece of hardware, like say a, a delta link for instance, or a pulley. Uh, so, so all of this is on the terminal side, and we're going to capture the, uh, the working end side through that. And then we're going to tighten that up. So now on the working end side, again, this is all stationary rope. It's just one leg of stationary line and the climber can ascend and descend along it. And if you set it up properly, when you, once you get down to the ground with the canopy anchor, now you have access to the end and you can just pull and you can you see how that pulls, pulls that device or that piece of hardware back down to you and then you can unclip and then you can yank your rope back out of the tree. So those are just some of the basic concepts. Again, none of this is comprehensive. I just want you to be able to wrap your head around what's going on here. So we're going to look at uh, some of the other stuff in, uh, in coming videos. But for now, this is the basic concepts behind the uh, climbing systems that we use. We have doubled rope or moving rope. And then we have stationary rope or SRT. So, until next time, Tree Mugs out.